welcome back. Dentist Shavala Harris is here answering your questions. She's a dentist here in Greensboro. All right, so this person's asking, they're asking what is rush, but I think they meant what is thrush. Yes, thrush is actually a fungal infection that can occur in the mouth. The places in the mouth where it is usually found is in the roof of the mouth and on the top of the tongue. Many medications sometimes, especially albuterol inhalers, uh, any type of inhalant that is used for any type of breathing conditions, that is a common medication that is used that can cause thrush in the mouth. Okay, um, this person says, my granddaughter uses teeth whitening strips very often. How often is it safe for her to use these? I definitely recommend, not knowing how old your granddaughter is, but every person before using whitening toothpaste or whitening strips needs to be seen by a dentist and have x-rays and a clinical exam to ensure that there are no cavities. If there are, the whitening strips can actually do more damage. Typically, just brushing your teeth twice a day, flossing every day will help your smile remain bright so that those whitening products are not always needed. Mm -hmm. And is it true that you should like um, sip your coffee through a straw and stuff as well so that it doesn't get on your teeth or does it not matter? So it would be very difficult to sip hot coffee through a straw, right. but the best way to definitely prevent the coffee, the acid that's contained in the coffee, the sugar that's in the creamer, the best way is definitely to use the straw if you can. If not, then again, brushing, excuse me, rinsing your mouth out with water for about a minute or so and spitting that out, that's going to be a good thing to do for your teeth. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So this person's asking, can you get caps on your teeth um, that may have had a root canal a few years ago? Now, before getting any type of a crown, which is what uh, caps, caps are typically known as crowns, you definitely need to have an x-ray done to ensure that there has not been any reinfection of the root canal, because the last thing you want to do is to spend a considerable amount of money on a full coverage crown if the root canal is showing signs of failure. Okay, so you need to ask that question first, if the root canal is, yes. is, is stable, okay. This person's asking, can pain in the body cause teeth or mouth pain? Sometimes the tooth pain can cause symptoms in the body. Oftentimes when children go to the pediatrician because they are having ear pain, they're tugging at their ears, they're having a low grade fever, they overall are just not feeling well, those are actually signs and symptoms of teething. So they're oftentimes issues in your mouth can cause pain in other parts of your body. But when and we go and like have a dental exam, they look at all kinds of things that I didn't even know that you could look at. So kind of go through the list of maybe some of the things that you guys look at that could show what other things are going on in our body. So because we are living longer, many of adults and some children are on medications and those medications can cause dry mouth dry mouth is very, um, it's a very problematic issue if not handled correctly and if a patient doesn't see a dentist as often as every six months. You can see things such as thrush on the roof of the mouth, on the tongue. You can see thermal reactions. You can see even allergen, allergic reactions, excuse me, to different toothpastes. Some people are not aware that if they change their toothpaste, that can actually cause the lining of their cheeks and their tongue to start, to start shredding, so to speak. So we can see all kinds of things. Oral cancer is another big thing that dentists typically can see and can help patients get seen by an oncologist before things progress to a, to a more serious level. So typically dentists, we are head and neck specialists. Anything involving the head and neck, we're looking at all of that because our mouth is the gateway to our body. Mm -hmm. This person's asking, how long do I need to brush and is there a specific brush I should use? So definitely every, every time you brush your teeth, at least twice a day with one time of that being before bed, three minutes. And if you feel like you're not brushing long enough or you, maybe you're brushing too long, you can always put a timer on your phone and that will help you. As far as the best toothbrush, Electric toothbrushes are amazing because they, some of them can actually let you know if you're brushing too hard. They can give you an indication when it's time to move to another part of the mouth. So it's really all about the technique. Manual toothbrushes can do the same, 
The, the electric toothbrushes, however, the vibration allows the bristles to get in between the teeth a bit better. But it really is all about the technique and making sure that you're doing it appropriately every day. All right, speaking of technique, brushing like this, scrubbing back and forth is not the way to do it. We're supposed to do small circles. That is correct. By brushing your teeth back and forth, especially if you're using medium or hard bristles on the toothbrush, that actually can cause gum disease because the pressure and the friction of the bristles is pushing your gum tissue back and it's exposing the roots of your teeth. So when you brush your teeth, you definitely want to use a soft bristle toothbrush and you wanna make sure that you're going in circular motions where the tooth and gums meet on both the front and the back surfaces of each tooth. All right, don't be scrubbing thinking you're doing a good thing. You wanna go light on your, your teeth and your gums. Thank you so much, Dr. Harris, for your time and your expertise. We ran out of time. We had more questions than that, so we'll have to have her back. If you missed any of this, we have it in the two wants to know section for you.